Have you ever wondered when humanity first set its sights on flying machines without pilots on board? Picture the thrill as engineers launched the very first drones into the sky, imagining the possibilities for exploration, surveillance, and even delivery. What if I told you these early drones laid the groundwork for the sophisticated UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles we see today? Strap in as we take flight on a journey through the history of the first five drones that transformed the skies. Ready to soar into the past? Let's dive in. 1916, the aerial target. Our journey starts in 1916 with the British aerial target. This was the world's first attempt at creating a remote-controlled aircraft, developed during World War I. Designed to serve as a practice target for anti-aircraft gunners, the aerial target was powered by a piston engine and controlled by radio waves. Although it never saw combat, it marked the beginning of drone technology and set the stage for future innovations. What made the aerial target significant? It represented the first leap toward remotely piloted aircraft, even if it was just used for training. 1935, the DH-82B Queen Bee. Next, we travel to 1935 with the introduction of the Queen Bee, another British drone built from a modified de Havilland Tiger Moth. This drone was the first mass-produced UAV and could be remotely piloted via radio control. Its primary purpose was also for gunnery practice but the Queen Bee's success cemented the concept of pilotless aircraft in military operations. How did the Queen Bee impact drone development? By proving that drones could be produced at scale and used effectively in military training. 1944, Operation Aphrodite fast forward to 1944, and we find ourselves amidst World War II. The US military developed the Operation Aphrodite program, where modified B-17 and B-24 bombers were converted into radio-controlled flying bombs. Although the operation had limited success, it was a pioneering effort in weaponizing drones and using them for combat missions, setting the stage for future advancements in drone warfare. What was the significance of Operation Aphrodite? It represented one of the first attempts at using drones in combat, even though it faced many technical challenges. 1959, Ryan Firebee. In 1959, we see the birth of the Ryan Firebee, a jet-propelled drone developed by Ryan Aeronautical. The Firebee was designed for reconnaissance and target practice, and its advanced technology allowed it to fly faster and farther than its predecessors. With its sleek design and impressive range, the Fire Bee became the backbone of US drone operations during the Cold War. What made the Ryan Fire Bee stand out? Its jet propulsion and versatility made it one of the most successful early drones used for both reconnaissance and training. 1994, Predator MQ-1. Finally, we arrive in 1994 with the debut of the Predator MQ-1, one of the most iconic drones in history. Developed by General Atomics, the Predator was initially designed for surveillance, but later equipped with weapons, transforming it into a combat drone. Its long range and endurance capabilities made it a critical asset in modern military operations, especially in the War on Terror. How did the Predator MQ-1 change the drone landscape? It shifted the perception of drones from reconnaissance tools to combat machines, revolutionizing modern warfare. And there you have it, the first five drones that didn't just fly, but changed the way we think about aerial technology. From the early days of the aerial target to the game-changing Predator MQ-1, these drones have paved the way for the cutting-edge UAVs of today. Imagine how those early engineers would marvel at the sight of drones delivering packages, surveying landscapes, or even performing rescue missions today. If this journey through drone history has sparked your imagination, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more amazing stories, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us.